Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here, and welcome to episode 2 of Batman Arkham Asylum. Oh, crap. And we're gonna fight the first boss of the series. Yay! Yeah, it's a giant dude who masturbates too much and apparently likes to throw guards around like bodies. Oh, God! Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He does the charge thing. I thought they didn't do that yet. <laughs> okay. I got this. Nope. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. I don't remember if you actually can beat him. But, uh... We're gonna try. Nope! Get beat, get beat, get beat, get beat, get beat, get beat! No! No! Get beat, get beat, get beat, get beat! Get the crap beat out of you, Joker dude! Did we win? Did... Did we win? Well, that was unexpected, wasn't it? Oh well, note to self, need stronger test subjects. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> oh, you're getting too predictable, Bats! Well, I'd love to stay in the chat, but I have a party to organize. I've got guests flying in from all of Arkham. You'll see. <laughs> Come on, Batman, you could have survived that fall. He survived worse. And with taking out the Titan Thug... Oh, oh, I, um... Spoilers. <laughs> we finally leveled up. <laughs> and so this is your level up screen. It's kind of bare bones, and they definitely expand on this a lot more later in the series. But, um, for now... We're going to go with, uh, yeah, critical combo strikes. Um, you can upgrade, you know, the ability to take more damage, how uh, much damage your batarangs do. You can throw more batarangs. You can get the remote control batarang, which is pretty fun. Um, and you can get some abilities for some of the other items that you unlock later in the game. But um, what I was talking about last episode with most of the game basically kind of driving you into fighting multiple people as uh, often as you can is it kind of becomes a little grindy later on if you want to start unlocking a bunch of the upgrades. What you want to do is you want to find as big a group of thugs as you can and this doesn't necessarily apply for this game as much as it does for the later games but you want to find as big a room as you can or a big a group as you can take them all out and get as many points as you can by fighting them all instead of you know dropping in and strategically dropping each group one by one because you get bonus points for the amount of people that you take out in one group and how big of a threat it is and it's it very much kind of pushes you in the direction of knocking people out as a way of unlocking points instead of you know taking everyone out from the shadows but you know that's just what I've noticed and I could be wrong because I do get enjoyment out of knocking hundreds or the uploads of like 40 people out in one brawl but i digress anyway let's see what the guard wants <coughs> came out of nowhere i dragged jerry in here powered up the gate must have passed out joker went through that door what's on the other side we call it extreme isolation only way in is via the transport system open it not a problem i'll just need to call another cell right do that Okay. Something's wrong here. The main security loop is locked. Having a little trouble up there? Joker. You're expecting maybe Two-Face? There's no escape, Joker. Silly bat! I don't want to escape! I'm having way too much fun! I even have you here to keep a smile on my face! Not for long. Really? We'll see. Ta-ta! Oh, I forgot to say! Just in case you were planning on following me, I've arranged a little insurance. Gordon is on his way to Harley as we speak. Officer Bowles. 
If I see you trying to follow me, he dies. Harley's looking forward to it. Maybe I'll film it and post it on the internet. <laughs> Transport system is down. Best I can do is open the door you came in. Sorry. Harley Quinn, the uh, prime example of a TV show affecting the outcome of a comic canon. The most useless map in the history of the game. Count how many times we use this throughout the playthrough. I bet you it's going to be like less than five. Granted, I remember... Joker's escaped. He sealed himself off. He's got your father. Dad. Don't worry, I'm getting him back. Okay, I know, but... Oracle, I'm getting him back. Joker will not win. I won't let him. I'm starting where he was taken. A guard named Frank Bowles attacked him. If I find Frank, I'll find your father. Bruce, hurry, please. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Thanks, Barbara. You're a real help. I bet you're wondering how I did it. Was it a clue the great detective missed? <laughs> it could have been. Oh, geez, Whoa! I thought that was Excellent foresight, Batman. I didn't even see that, dude. So when I need security, though, I'm that. Will you just stay down? There we go. Smart man. Oracle, I'm at the holding cells. I'm setting up a crime scene. So what's the plan? Isolate something in that room unique to both? Exactly. Right, so here we are at the... Mm, quote-unquote detective game system that they kind of have you Bowles play with. Bowles this flask. Sloppy. Let's see what the forensic scanner picks up. So what I mean by this basically being a point-and-click adventure is... Okay, so I stopped the scan right there just to basically point this out. There is nothing else in here that you will lock on to, all right? The, essentially, when you press detective mode, which quote-unquote detective mode, there's nothing for you to lock on to. There's nothing really for you to look at. The only thing that you can really, really find, or the only thing that you'll find is what the game wants you to find, and that is, for this example, we'll go with the flask. See, we analyze it. I can follow traces of alcohol from Frank's bourbon in the atmosphere. Oracle. I've got a trail. That's great. You follow it. I'm grabbing every reference to Arkham I can find. Maybe useful later. Alright. And now... You, you would look basically... There's nothing to it. Now all you have to do is keep looking around and following these vapor trails, right? And they're really, really easy to see. And the best part is, if you lose them... They're on the map. You see, everyone you find will be on the map, which I guess is nice, you know, if you want to map out the trail, but there's really nothing to it. Like, I would expect... Uh, again, I, I, I'm sorry for ranting a little bit about this, but... That's not creepy at all. Right, so, you know, if you're setting up a crime scene, I would expect to be able to look at more, at least identify more, like, I don't know, maybe... Jim dropped... Uh, this is gonna sound... This is gonna sound like a moot point later, but... I don't know, maybe Jim dropped his pipe when he was taken? Uh, maybe you could look at security footage to see which way they might have gone? But no, essentially all it does is direct you straight to the flask, and then straight to the vapor trail, which is essentially nothing more than in a glorified compass... Uh, a glorified navigation compass route. Glorified navigation route on your compass. Yeah, there we go. I can't speak, sue me. <laughs> but yeah. I would expect more, but it's very bare bones, if that. There's a lot wrong with this thing. Stupid, unreliable. How did Joker get? Be quiet. What's going on? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Hey man, Miss. Oh, 
What the hell happened? How did you like that, Steven? No way you're following us now. You're trapped down here till me and Mr. J are finished. Oh, great. <laughs> well, ain't this just gonna be Gordon a fun... Gordon up to the surface in the elevator. If I want to follow them, I'll need to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. So this is the other gimmick that you're gonna be doing a lot of in this game, and that is climbing things. You're going to be climbing and scaling and gliding everywhere. It's a poor man's parkour system. And by poor man's, I mean you're not doing it very fast. I know you can hear me. I've got a little something for you to listen to. Harley and Frank are stealing out of the building with the old man. How are they going to get past all those guards? Let's have a listen, shall we? Hey, Frank, are you there? Joker's got more men on the way. They're coming around the front of the asylum. Get quick, get over there. Get, come on, every Come to the main entrance. How many are there, Bulls? Wait, hang on. How the hell do you know what? Bulls! Frank, what are you doing? No, quit now! Frank, what the hell? <laughs> quit! It's clear. Get your ass in here. It's some piece of work, Frank. I love how nonchalant that third guard was. He's like, Frank, what the hell? Like, dude, you took my sandwich. All patients should remain still and place their hands upon their heads. I'm not 100% sure that's how you were supposed to get up here, but if it is, then cool. If not, then, uh, Will yeah. Will Warden Sharp huh. please make his way to the secure unit? I repeat, Will Warden Sharp please go to the secure unit? I don't think he wants to. Right. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. Through my act. So those are the other things that you can find. You'll find a bunch of different random collectibles that you can pull out within the game. Pull out. <laughs> you can find out about the game. And one of them is the story of Amadeus Arkham. Uh, I never actually did find all of the uh, spirals that you're supposed to find to unlock his story, so I will find what ones that I happen to come across during the playthrough, but I cannot promise that I will find them all. Uh, I apologize. It is the bat! Punch me! What if it was the owl, man? Or what about the Elmo? Or the Elmer? Or the Toledo? Or the PhD Trump supporter? <laughs> These are all rare things, but... They're all possible. Oh boy. Not yet, but I'm getting close. Harley Quinn tried to slow me down, dropped an elevator on me. Did it work? <laughs> of course not. I'll get back to you when I reach the end of the trail. I respect the fact that you're worried about your dad, Barbara, but it's been like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes since you last asked. Granted, he is Batman, but even when he fights Superman, it takes him a good 30 minutes to work up the courage to Please. put on that kryptonite ring. I've got a kid. You don't have Okay, boss says no one gets fast. Anything moves, shoot it. Anything moves, shoot it. All right. Oracle, Joker's men have taken control of the cell block transfer corridor. That's not good. I patched it to a guard radio. It sounds like Joker's crew have got their hands on weapons. 
I they, know. They have. I'll calibrate the cowl's vision mode to isolate armed henchmen. I am surprised you could do that. I need to be smart and find it difficult to pass them. So, yeah, this is another uh, implementation of that stealth gimmick. Probably a better example, actually. You can do this in the actual game. This isn't just a scripted event. This is actually one of the mechanics that you will find yourself repeatedly doing without the game. And it's really, really fun! <laughs> Tell the other bears what you just saw. Uh, anyone remember when Family Guy was good? Also, I would just like to point out, if he just, like, I don't know, maybe cocked his head slightly to the right, he would have seen that dude getting choked out, Batman would have been shot, it would have been game over, but no. Also, their eyes are still open. Was it too much? Is it too much for anyone to animate closed eyelids? Like, really? Actually, those look closed. No but problem, boss. The boys are just finishing up. The Arkham chumps never stood a chance. Oh, good! Our friendly neighborhood rodent is on his way. You need to set a trap. He must... Oh, look oh, oh, that did not go how I planned. I suppose I'd better warn my boys you're off way. Oh boy. <laughs> so my dumbass just lost most of my health. It's your friendly Uncle Jay. And now we have an escape crap. Dresses like a bat. Oh, what an idiot. Should be considered costumed and dangerous. Stop him before he gets someone hurt. Really, it's for his own good. <laughs> well, I did say there was some stealth in this game. Time for the fun part. Like taking candy from a baby. Great. I just hope that baby's not going to get a bullet in his head. He doesn't stand a no, no, no. Okay. Okay. You stay. You did not see anything. Good. You just, you just, you just, you just go into that room. You didn't see anything. Can we do this in under three minutes before the end of the episode? Probably not. But it's worth it to try. Joker wants him stopped. I'm gonna do it. Are you sure about that, big man? 100%. Guess you weren't that uh, confident in your abilities, were you? Just because you have a gun doesn't mean you know how to use it. Because if you don't keep it trained on your enemy, you're not going to be able to kill him when he comes and chokes you out from behind. Um... That might sound like a uh, contradictory statement, but I assure you, it's 100% not. Did you just not see that? Right. Well then. That's how Batman does things. Did you really think it was going to be that easy, Batman? I've sent a few more, my boys, your way. Let's oh, goddammit. <laughs> right. Joker wants him found. Spread out. Oh, oh no. You can be anywhere. Then keep your eyes open. Now move. Crap. Right. Well. We'll just have to deal with this in the next episode. Until then, guys. Worry, I'm boy. nobody. And, uh... Stand a I think we might have an issue here. <laughs> Until then, peace.